Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Trevor and today I'm going to be showing you how I unlocked the survivalist character in one go in Call of Duty World War II Zombies. So you have a list of, I think it's, yeah, it's five challenges that you have to complete in order to unlock this character. Um, then they all kind of play into each other. So it's, it's, there's de it's definitely doable to get them all at once, which is what I ended up doing. You'll see in this footage here that I only got, only two challenges showed up on screen. I'm not sure why. I did actually do all of them in one run. Um, the character wasn't there when I got out of the game, but I relaunched the game and I had the character. So here are the challenges. You have to survive. These are all based on 30 waves. So you have to survive 30 waves without going down in the final Reich. You also, have, you also can't use any blitzes, you can't turn on the power, you can only use starting weapons, and you can only hit the mystery box twice, no more than two times. So the strategy becomes really straightforward, at least for me. This means you need to basically use the starting weapon and the well. So the, the well trap is used to clear out all the zombies and the big sledgehammer guys. And then you need, from there you need to figure out a way to take care of the Brenners. So for me, that was using either the 1911 or the machine pistol with Free Fire and Mark II. Mark II, if you're not familiar with it, um, is a mod that basically makes it so that when you use Free Fire, your, your, your weapons get pack-a-punched for the duration of your Free Fire. So with the 1911s, that's pretty incredible damage output um, definitely enough to take down the Brenner pretty quickly um, even with just like a, a normal one bar of special you don't even need the the double bar um, the machine pistol you definitely need to have the double bars every time a Brenner comes out and even then it can be a little bit difficult I actually completed the challenge with the 1911s but I did some attempts with the machine pistol and it was easier for building up points for the trap essentially uh, with the 1911 you have to spam it a lot uh, but the the only reason for the primary weapon outside of free fire is building points so you can use the trap and buy armor so the strategy is basically go two rounds in the first starting area um, build up some points you know open up the door to the riverside so you can open up the gas valve open up the rest of the gas valves you know do the the well trap thing and from there, you just shoot into lines of zombies, build points, train them for a little bit, and then activate the trap. Um, some good things to know, if you fall into the trap, there's a button on the inside of the well that you can use to activate the trap. When you stand in the at the bottom of the trap of the well, um, it actually pushes you up into the air. So if you fall in while the trap is going off, at the very beginning, there's like a a boost of air that pushes you up so it can push you out of the trap if you fall in um, if you are like really really desperate after you hit the button for the trap and you're like up top and you're about to go down you can just fall into it and um, you'll take a little bit of damage but it'll just push you back out so this trap instantly kills um, all zombies and even the big guys it does not kill the Brenner and I don't even know if it does damage to the Brenner I'm not sure um, I tried using it a bunch of times on him and I didn't really notice anything I wasn't gonna sit there all day doing it so the, the 1911s take him down really really fast so the strategy yeah, is basically to to just train train the zombies activate the trap train the zombies activate the trap the biggest issue that I had with this with this was uh the bomber zombies if you kind of get hit once or twice and then you've got bomber zombies like coming at you all over the place. Uh, they can definitely take your armor off pretty easily. So whenever you see a bomber zombie, try to to shoot the the second head, the, the head that's on the back that's kind of holding the bomb. Try to shoot that head a couple of times so it, it'll drop the bomb and just kind of neutralize it as a threat. Because there's nothing worse than being red screened and having bomber zombies coming at you blowing up. So... That was the only like big thing, big issue that I had. Um, besides that, it's pretty much it. It's uh, I, th I feel like it's one of the easier sets to unlock, just because you can do it all at once. Um, armor doesn't count as blitz, so you can use armor all you want. Um, 
for lethals, I used the S-Mine 44s. I had never tried them before, and someone said to use them, and I tried them, and they clear out a large amount of zombies. So if you ever don't have your free fire built up and you're out of ammo, you can actually build up a decent amount of the bar by placing some S-Mines and, and kind of uh, baiting a train of zombies over it. So that's the method I used. I hope uh, it helps anyone out there that's trying to do this solo. Um, I managed to do it solo, and... It wasn't too bad, so hopefully this helps, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.